going live. One minute early. So I can make sure I'm doing everything right here for all of you tech savvy folks. I am not. Tis the season. What's up, Clint? JJ. Trying to get to uh, my own live stream here so I can read a chat and see what's going on. So I got my kid's iPad. But all I need to do is to see the live chat. All right, we're good. What's up, folks? How many we got? 33. All right, guys. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit delayed. Hope everybody can hear me. Thumbs up if you can hear me. What's up? What's up? What's up? Go, Pats. Uh, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Yes, I'm a supporter of Bud Light and Dilly Dilly and the Patriots. So, Dilly Dilly. I'm doing good, Alex. How are you? What's up, David? Nate? Madfish Diva? Josh? Jorge? Captain Rex? Freshman? Mitch? Sandro? Chris22? Who else is here? Oh. Nice. All right. 41 people watching so far. Tonight, I just had to, instead of shooting a video of me, you know, well, now you get to see me mumble live, but instead of shooting a video on my thoughts, I figured I'd go live tonight, uh, sandwich in between uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op and Flip and Steenfot and Joel, um, Corvus Austin, uh, and all these live stream crazy I, I, DIY Aqua Pro, you guys are always on live. Um, so I tried to squeeze one in when I didn't see anything scheduled. But that's the topic of tonight. I can't wait to talk about it. I got a lot. I got a lot to say, and I want to hear all your feedback as well as I have a lot of prizes to give out tonight. And that's all going to count on you liking, sharing getting people involved in this live stream, you know, just come watch and uh, I'll give you a, a quick, boom. One of the prizes I will be giving away. 52 people watching. All right, pretty sweet, 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 sweet. Who else is here? I'm just gonna say some highs real quick before we get into this. Jack, what's up? Manny, Sid, Famous, Loops LA, Aza. Yup, yup, yup. Edwin Arroyo, Alex, Alpha Madfish, Nizzle the One, Chris, Sid Day, Mike Pizza, Melissa Slower, Asuncion, oh that's a beautiful name, Asuncion, Hernandez, Go Pats, Tetra, Greg, Alex, where's my wrenches? Do I got any wrenches here on the live stream? Gonna need a wrench. I'm sure there is going to be something I don't want to see here. So, uh, oh look, got my toothpicks here. Boom, boom. I'll put this down here. But I do have my notepad. You guys do know that I've got some of uh, my aquarium boxes here. These might be getting mailed out to lucky people. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up from Florida? Come on, let's get some more shout outs here. Who's up? Who's up? I have a, a I don't know if he's a rookie channel. I, I actually haven't seen how many videos or how long he's been up but there's this one youtuber he's a young kid um i just happen to be scrolling through youtube yes i watch youtube videos a lot of uh once you get into making videos for so long a lot of people don't actually watch new channels and stuff but i love like just going through all the aquarium channels i love watching new people like if you have good content or if you have you know, interesting videos, I'm going to watch it because I'm interested. I like to learn. I like to see what's up. So there's this new kid. I'm going to shout him out after I start talking about live streams. I know all this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Uh, I really like him. I got him written down right here. I've watched a few of his videos and they're really edited really well. Um, they're entertaining. They're quick and to the point, which are all four things I love in YouTube videos. So that's cool. 
What do we got going on here? Yeah, look at that Blixo mic, huh? What's up from LA? A. McKenzie, Ohio, how you doing? Am I talking about Fish for Thought? Uh, no, not talking about him. SoCal in the house. My cousin lives in SoCal, uh, Army Tank driver, and he's the man, and he loves SoCal. Went from Massachusetts. Thank you! Michael, you're here. Are you driving around? Can you control the uh, hate mail, or are you driving? Tell me, quick. What's up from NY City, Kevin? Illinois is in the house. Ohio again. Where's Huckleberry? Huckleberry? Yeah, I'll show you real quick. Is right there. There's Huckleberry. Passed out like a trout. Uh, yeah, Huckleberry was annoying as frig tonight. Just bouncing around the room. Not enough energy got taken out of him, but he's right there. Tennessee, I got family in Tennessee. Edel, watching from work at Gillette. That's what I love to hear. What's up from Maine? Cheers, Mass. Tanks looking good. Thanks, dude. No, you're driving. What the frig? I need a wrench that's not driving. Listen, my brother from another mother and a darker father from another father, Michael Aarons, Aarons Aquariums. Go check him out. Subscribe. Uh, one of my best buds, and he's got a wrench, and he's supposed to be monitoring this chat, but he's working at 2 o'clock in the morning UK time. That's what he does. Boom, boom, boom. Lemonster, what's up? Smash that like button from North Carolina, please. I've uh, been to North Carolina plenty of times. Gorgeous place. I love to golf there. Oh, Michael, sorry. Yeah, you are a bellend. I might be one, but you are the master of bellend, so thanks. And why are you awake at 2 if you're not working? What's going on? Who else we got? What's going on with Dustin? Uh, we did a nice live stream. I thought it was awesome. I can't wait to do another live stream with Dustin. Should be really fun. I made a bunch of questions to ask him, and I got a bunch more, so hopefully we can do another one soon. Ba, ba, ba. Love the oh hey Mike good to see you good to see you too down east fish guy Wisconsin in the house thanks for watching my videos Mike D binge watching uh, I'll answer this one question uh, from Aquariums of Peninsula and then I'm gonna go right into the the thing about live streams I like that Planet Tank what equipment and substrate are you using Substrate is Caribsea Island Gold um, Sand, and then way, way over here in the back corner is Eco Complete, and uh, the sand is inert, and the Eco Complete obviously has nutrients, but I all I dose is root tabs all in the sand, and that makes everything grow nice, nice, along with good light and CO2. Rochester, New York, in the house. Yes, a live stream talking about live streams. All right, let's get into that. From uh, His Name Is Me. So we got 71, 71, 2, 72, 73, 73. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on twice. Cheers, dilly dilly. So uh, I know a lot of you are commenting on this stream. I probably will miss a ton when I start rambling on and talking. If you want to hit that super chat button, not only will you support my channel, and I put everything that goes in the super chat towards making this channel better, but I'll see your comment right away, and you'll have like you know that specific amount of time that your everything you say is up in the super chat. So hit that super chat button. I'm gonna put this down until I see a super chat, and I'm just gonna talk about my first topic of the night, and that's live streams. I'm live right now. Why am I live? Because I've been dying to do a live stream for since my last live stream, but YouTube has so many live streams going on all the time with all the awesome fish channels out there. Now, this isn't a, uh, a, a jealousy rant. This is more of like a what do you guys think rant. Um, so at any given moment, you got Corey from Aquarium Co-op. You got Flip going. 
you got Joel from Corvus Austin. You've got Steam Font. This dude does live streams like every other day. You've got Rico, my boy Rico. He's doing live streams, not even scheduled. He's doing them for like giant blocks, like 10 hours. Sometimes he'll be live streaming when I wake up on my lunch break, when I get home and cook dinner, when I'm getting ready to watch TV, Rico's live streaming. So what I would like to ask all the people that watch YouTube um, and specifically YouTube fish channels, do you guys uh, like scheduled live streams where you know somebody's gonna be on and you don't have a choice to choose between one live stream or another? Or, you know, you feel like, well, you know, Flip's going on or, or Corey's going on. Like, I can't switch from this live stream to this live stream because I like this live stream better. Or do you guys like to be able to choose, like, it's TV? Almost like, what do you want to watch tonight? Or let's just watch this for a little while. You know, we'll watch the game for a little while and then we'll go over and we'll watch, you know, uh, the Goldbergs. We'll watch a comedy for, for 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and see what the score is, you know, in this live stream. Is it, is YouTube being oversaturated with live streams to the point where it's annoying? Or is it awesome because you have so much to choose from, just like if you were watching TV? So let's, uh, let's go to the comments. 73 people. Let's see. Hit that like, hit that share. As soon as we get to 100, I'm going to give away a almost $300 prize. This is going to be 200 $80 LED planted light, the exact same light I have on this tank, sponsored by Marineland. So let's get to 100 so I can give this light away. Let's see what everybody's got to say. Rico's sure to start a live stream. Yep, Nate, Rico will be starting a live stream probably in the morning. He's not a nighttime live stream guy. David thinks it's pretty dope. Jamie loves live stream. Live stream better than planned video. What's up, IFG? I see you, my brother. What's up, Reefer? When are you going to get a reef going, IFG? You've been telling me and messaging me for like three years that the reef, the reef, the reef. I think you need to, you know, just put the African cichlids on one side of your house and then get some real, real live, mind-blowing reef IFG stuff going. That's what I think. What's going on? Boop, boop, boop. Good to know what's coming. Now, the fish community doesn't have many live streamers like they say gaming. So well, yeah, gaming is crazy live streams. Like, unbelievable. Scheduled. So, a Aza Animals, Aza Animals, like a scheduled live stream. Uh, Mad Fish Diva says, I like this. Just hard to watch them all yet. Yeah, it's very hard. I like to tune in once in, you know, for at least five to, you know, try to get 10, 15 minutes in. Boom, or upload them to your channel afterwards. Yep, they always get uploaded to the channel. Aff needs a reef. Yeah, he does. <whistles> live stream. It, I do love live streams. PJF, I love to watch them. Schedule live stream. So that seems to be the thing that the schedule live stream is, you know, people like to know what's coming. So they like to know when their TV show's on. But the problem is, is everybody scheduling live streams. Um, all right, so let's take this for example. Dustin and Joey, right? You know, you two, you big dogs in the in the community. They have on their channel videos every. Uh, what is it? Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Now Joey always uploads a video every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Uh, Dustin has every videos Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but he uploads a video every single day whether it's scheduled as a, just a regular video or it's a live video, like it's getting out of hand with the live videos nonstop. But is it getting out of hand? That's what I want to talk about. I love seeing people going live all the time and it makes you just want to click that button and see exactly what they're talking about. Um, but at nighttime, let's say nine o'clock Eastern Standard, so whatever it is in Cali, uh, six o'clock, you're getting home, you have, you know, whether you have kids or you're, or you go to the gym or whatever's going on after work, like this isn't the best time to have a live stream. So this is why I love these comments. What's Greg got to say? I never managed to go back and watch live streams after they're done. 
Do others? Great question. After someone has already have a, had a live stream, do you go back and watch it and see what the YouTuber is talking about? Considering you, you aren't able to see the, the live stream comments, it's mostly comments after. So that's even more. It's like, do you DVR the live stream and go back and watch it? 76, come on, we need, let's get that a share. We need 24 people and I'm giving away a $300 planted tank light. Depends on the content. So slower, what kind of content do you like to see? Down East, Down East Fish Guy. Um, I, I think I commented on one of his videos. Go check out Down East Fish Guy. Oh no, oh, he did a unboxing. Um, Down East, where I'm from, I'm from Massachusetts. When I hear Down East, I hear South Maine. That's all I hear. Southern part of Maine. And then when I heard his accent, he has to be from the Southern part of Maine because he's got a New England accent. No, there's no mistaking that accent. Day 5 Aquatics, what's up? No, I think it's kind of boring to go back and watch them after the fact. Sometimes I do too, but you never know. What's up, Petsotics? How's it going? I haven't heard from you in a while. Thank you, Slower Subi. How you doing today, Janice? Hey, Mike, how you doing tonight? Love the planet tank behind you. And Fish Fam, thank you. Rogers in Maine, go Pats. Live stream is nice because of the interactive aspect. Usually I don't feel the need to catch up and watch them because the new videos will update. True, true, true. Tweet it out the stream, hope to generate friends don't come. All right guys, all we need to do is get it to 100 people and I will give that light away. So how about them Pats? I mean, seriously, how about the Pats? I don't even have to say anything about it. It's absolutely ridiculous. What kind of light is on that tank behind you? I'm going to show you right now. Uh, Loops LA. I'm going to put this thing down and show you. And by this thing, I mean the iPad, not the beer. Right now, on this tank, I am running the, Mar the Marineland Aquatic Plant LED Strip Light. $100 annual saving in electricity. It's 36 inches. It can go a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. It's got a 10 year lifetime warranty. Uh, it's for fresh water. It's uh, for low intensity plants, high intensity plants. It's got a built in, I love the built in timer. And uh, that's one of my favorite parts because I hate going to buy that cheap timer that you have to plug into the power strip. It's way too big. So like it overhangs on another plug and then you can't use that plug and it's just super annoying. It's got the blues, the whites, and uh, the nighttime moonlight. Excuse me. This is the light I'll be giving away. I think it's $279.99, so let's call it $280. And this is the exact light I'm running right now. It's been running for two years. Let's see. I moved in one, two, so like almost two years it's been running on this tank. And as you can see, it works. Okay? It's a great light. And it runs really, 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 really cool. Like there's no fan on this thing and it's been on for uh, at least five hours and it's very cool to the touch. You can barely feel any heat. Built-in timer is absolutely my favorite part of this light. Um, I love a built-in timer. Absolutely love it. Any, I will never get a light that doesn't have a built-in timer if I'm paying for it. That's for sure. Okay, let's go up. Jamie's in Western Mass. If I win, you'll have to convince my wife that you need another tank. Listen, I won't go over that. I am the master of convincing and sneaking in tanks. Uh, yes, it's very, uh, Josh, it's super bright. I've never done a par test, but that's why I have it raised up. At first, I had it right on top of the tank, and uh, you know it was just crazy. And then I slowly, 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 slowly lifted it up, and I was about to suspend it from the ceiling, but this height with these two giant beer mugs worked out absolutely perfect for height. So I, I do like it exactly where it is, but I've never power tested it. Ooh, Carpola, the Super Bowl is right next to his house. I wish I was there. 
Whereabouts in Mass are you located, Mike? I'm in Massachusetts. That's all I can tell you. South. I'm in the south of Massachusetts. Mike, are you planning on doing more? More of what? Live streams? Yes. And Greg, I do live in the middle of the woods. Yeah. If you want to know where I'm in Massachusetts, I'm in Massachusetts and I'm in the woods. That's all you need to know. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do so many, so much, many more live streams. I love to schedule them, but uh, so that's that was my big thing tonight. Is like all there's so many aquarium channels doing live streams like crazy. It's like how do you fit yours in, or is it better to have multiple live streams going and then you can jump from one to the other, and you know watch this one for a while, then watch this one for a while, or I like this better, or I like this better. Like I like friggin comedies better than someone likes dramas or so you know is there is there something to be said about having all our aquatic channels doing live streams like every night of the week and it's like uh it gives you something to watch every night there's a live show um at first i was skeptical about skeptical about squeezing my live stream into somebody else's but now i'm thinking you know it's really awesome and there's live streams going on every night, and you can just click on which one you want, and it's just like TV. Now that sounds, especially, I know my wife's not watching because she's yet to watch any one of my videos. But if uh, any one of my wife's friends are watching, it's just like people who love fish tanks, now you have something live to watch every night with your clicker, your YouTube aquarium clicker. I'm gonna watch Corey for a little while. I'm gonna watch Joel for a little while. Here comes Flip. Here comes Dustin. Here comes this person. Here comes that person. Like, you can just chill out at night and have a good time, medicate, partake, whatever you wanna do, and watch live aquarium channels. And then go back to your TV. Whatever you wanna do. I'm loving it. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we got a uh, My Aquarium Box code. Get a free moss ball from H2O Plants. My boy Justin, he's about to have a baby in a few weeks. Use code capital M-A-B moss. Go for it. Madfish does not watch TV anymore. <whistles> live stream from your LFS maybe the sponsor. Uh, there's not that many LFSs around where I live. Rachel's cool. She does live stream. Rachel does, so Rachel does this for a living. So she does a live stream, you know, during the day at like lunchtime and there's four or 500 people watching. And she, she tries to fly through, um, all, all the people watching and all the comments and tries to answer as much as she can. But when you have four or 500 people watching and let's say every single one of them is putting a comment in, it's just, it's flying through. And it's almost just like, yes, I like big fish. No, I don't do this. And it's just like she's flying through the questions and it's just it's really tough to answer everybody's questions on a live stream when 500 people are watching and answering questions. But she gets a lot of people and it's awesome. We, what are we up to? 90, 93, 94 down Easter says we're up to 94. Almost there, Alex. Loops, LA. Yeah, Rachel's funny. I like watching her. Let's go. Get it up to 100 and this light is going to be given out. And then I am going to go over uh, my future basement plans and some uh, YouTube aquarium channel rookie. Because one of the biggest things I talked about in uh, my live stream with Dustin is do you think it's easier or harder for new YouTube channels to get noticed with, with the amount of you? of aquarium channels that are out there. Like, is it easier nowadays to get subs? Because there's so much more social media advancement with Facebook and Instagram and, you know, people are super tech savvy and they can share it in all sorts of places, left and right, and it's just easier to get subscriptions and get views, or is it harder for them to get views because there's so many channels? Um, there's a few new YouTubers, aquarium YouTubers that are making some really great content and they have very, very low subscribers, but their content is really interesting. It's really fun to watch. 
Um, I watch them all the time, and I don't know. I, I, I seem to think it might be a little bit easier than I had it. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and it takes a lot of work to get to where you are, but I'm loving YouTube aquarium channels these days. Beer mugs. Day 5 Aquatic says it's easier to get subs, but not really views. Uh, Carp Blood, the river. Yes, I am getting another rainbow tank for sure. Those are my favorite fish, along with angels of our, all time. How's my light place like that? I got two, uh, two beer mugs underneath because I didn't want to drill holes in one of the living rooms, like, uh, in the ceiling and suspend it so i have two beer mugs but i guess from what you're looking at like it's all like super bright it's just like there which is pretty cool but there's literally a one two beer mugs holding it up big giant giant like 20 ounce beer mugs do i watch gary i don't think i watch your channel love peck tech and ifg I love Aquarium Cohop and Joel from Corvus. I love watching those guys. Uh, Ryan started for the Rico Challenge. When am I setting up the big tank? I, I don't have a clue. It's I mean, I thought I was going to do it in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Me and Greg were going to do it, and I just I have not had the time. Um, it is a lot of work to... Not just set, it's not putting the tank where it needs to go and filling it, a, filling it with water. That's easy. It's thinking about what you want the scape to be like, getting the scape ready, doing that, all that stuff, adding what type of fish you want or plants or corals. Like the whole setup is, you know, you need to be invested in it. And I, when I'm invested in it, that's when I'll set it, I'll set it up. 96, come on, four more people. Four more people and this light's going to somebody's house. United States only. Sorry, folks, if I didn't specify that before. But I will give this light away and I will mail it to you in the US only. Very sorry. Uh, the Corys, nope, there's no Cory cats out tonight. I don't like Bud Light Platinum. I've had it like, I had like two sips. Dollar per gallon sales going on at Petco right now, apparently. Uh, I have done an Af uh, Lorette 311, 311. I have done an African cichlid tank in the past. I had it for like almost a year. Um, the maintenance is super easy. It's super crisp and clean the way I did it with granite and white sand. Um, the fish are beautiful, but you need, really need a big tank and they're very aggressive. Um, but African cichlids are beautiful fish, very aggressive fish very easy to take care of in my book compared to like say a plants a tank or a reef tank like you really don't have to do much but feed them and water change them um maybe in the future but definitely not in the near future um acclimatizing plants yeah i, th I would say just go close this dude says he needs that light Oh, is, it, is Justin here? What did he say? Do I got to go back and find him? Hey, yes, Justin. That bl that, look at this Blixa, dude. This thing, giant thing right here. I could break this mother off into like, I don't know, like friggin' 50, 75, like, beautiful Blixas for whatever Blixa sells for. I don't know. But I refuse to because... This Blixer has literally grown off two root tabs, two My Aquarium Box root tabs, light from marine land, pressurized CO2, giant bowling ball Blixer. Shti Reich. Gary, I use, all I use is uh, root tabs. 200 bucks worth, damn! $200 worth of Blixer, son. Thanks, OG. OG Fish Room. Share it up. 102, are we there? 105, down east, 106, 106, going once, going twice, going 07. All right. So, Gregory, where are you? Uh, what kind of contest we want to run to give this light away? 
Uh, actually, this is not a My Aquarium Box sponsored light that was given. This is a Marineland sponsored light to my channel, Mass Aquariums. Um, even though we get tons of prizes for My Aquarium Box to give away, this is a light donated by Marineland to Mass Aquariums that I've run on my tank for two years and I can't wait to give it away. So let's see here, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna come up with a good question. Don't start writing your answers or numbers or anything. It won't count until I say go. What's Greg say? Eagles fans get banned, no, no, no. Eagles fans are more than, more than welcome to join the party here. Josh's 40 breeder needs a new light. Bryce already says Tom Brady as, as uh, his answer. Yeah, Bryce, come on. Wait till I say go. I got to figure out what, what I'm going to ask here. Um, but it might as well be a Patriot question, right? No, that's not, that's not fair. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to write a number down from one to one to... We got 104 people watching, so I'm gonna write a number down between one and 54. Anybody whose numbers are already in, they do not count. Until I say go is when the numbers will count. So if you're typing in numbers, they don't count. Stop typing in numbers. They do not count. Everybody stop. I'm not taking any numbers. Ooh, we got a we got a super chat. Who got the super chat? Jeannie Friedman. Love your channel. Been watching a long time. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is awesome. I greatly appreciate that super chat. Anything else you want to ask, I'll be sure to answer it right away. Um, if anybody wants to get their questions in about fish tanks, about anything in general, uh, do the super chat and I'll notice it right away and I'll answer your question right away. It can be about literally about anything. So has uh, everybody stopped? No more numbers. All right, ready? Numbers one through 54, go. Done, PJF, you won. That was uh, one, two, three, four, five people in. PJF, everybody can stop doing numbers because PJF has won with the number 12. Come on guys, Tom Brady, number 12. That was so easy. All right, PJF, I will write your name down. You're gonna need to get in contact with me. I'm going to click on your name and look at your profile. Um, and we'll get you straightened out and I will email this out to you. Uh, email you and get this light out to you. Congratulations, PJF, with the Marine Land Light. Awesome, congratulations, PJF. You have won a planted tank light sponsored by Marine Land. Boom. All right. Get, look at all these numbers. 24, yes, that's Ty Law's number. I also have his shirt. I also have Troy Brown's shirt. I also have Teddy Bruschi's shirt. I also have Tom Brady's shirt, folks. But that was a contest for that one. I had my Patriots shirt, just anybody really wanted to bust my chops. I could break that out. But... All right, so that was the contest for, look at it, the numbers are still rolling in. You can stop the numbers anytime.
fish razor. <laughs> that was my next one. So I'm not my next. My numbers were all going to be Patriots numbers, and 87 was going to be a next one because Gronk is basically the man. But I'm going to have to stop doing Patriots numbers, and we'll go move on to something else. Ooh, Melissa's a Steelers fan, and she's still congratu congratulating you. Melissa Byers, you are a true American and football fan in general, like I am myself. Freshman Reaper, sorry that you're a Steelers fan. It's okay. Steelers are awesome. Besides your coach, who sucks. But Big Ben, Antonio Brown, Juju Smith. Le'Veon Bell's probably gone this year, but anyway, good luck with that. Uh, oh, Jay's Aquatic says, I like the Cowboys. Real football. Yes. <laughs> uh, real bunch of losers who can't have a quarterback unless he's got Ezekiel running behind him. But anyway, good for you anyway. That's old school. That's like so many years ago the Cowboys were America's team. Now the Patriots are America's team. Sorry. Oh, we're still above 100. We get to 125. Let's see what I'm going to be giving away next here. Look at all these My Aquarium boxes I got here. Oh, I got met plenty more. Every time we get 25 up, I'm going to open one of these My Aquarium boxes because every month, not only do I pack them with my boy Greg, but I get my own My Aquarium box. And I haven't opened a ton of them for a long, long time. But I'm going to be giving them away to you. Full free. Oh, we got another super chat. Thank you, Chris. Can you turn the tank into Bud Light? Dilly dilly. <laughs> uh, I was just joking. Don't turn the tank into Bud Light. I need the tank. Can you turn the tank stand into Bud Light? Dilly dilly. Perfect. Caught you live at Shock. Love your channel. Thanks, Joyce. Amazing. Thank you, NY Gold. Can I tell you what's in the plant box? I cannot tell you what's in the plant box until I get to a certain amount of views. And then I will open a planted box and give it to you. Dilly dilly. Oh, sorry about the Vikings, man. Yeah, I watched that game. Uh, no, the boxes are not all the same. I have a quick question. I have a 20 gallon tank and was wondering if the AquaClear 1030 gallon filter would be good. I would go with a AquaClear 50 all day on the 20 gallon. That is one of my favorite filters. I ran it on a 10 gallon for years and years and years. AquaClear 50, big enough to put whatever you want in the basket and uh, the surface agitation is perfect. AquaClear 50, go for it. Racing that <laughs> Mass Aquariums brought to you by Bud Light and My Aquarium Box. Now featuring Bud Light. Also featuring My Aquarium Box. Do I have saltwater tank? Yes, I have two beautiful saltwater tanks in my basement. Go check out my channel. You can see lots of videos of those. Freshman Reefer needs a box. If you are looking to hit that uh, super chat button, you gotta. I think you have to be on a... Uh, computer. I don't know if it works by phone. Thanks, JD. Yeah, Huckleberry is a super cool dog. Um, he's a really good boy. He's seven months, just just turned seven months, and he knows all his commands. Um, just great with the, well, labs were great with kids. I had a chocolate lab for 12 years. Um, we waited a year when, you know, she passed to get Huckleberry because just, you know, get that year of let the kids relax from not having the dog that they grew up with and just like you know me and my wife's own personal like just you know break from from a dog as well as like a little bit of mourning and uh then we got huckleberry and this dude is the man he's still passed out over here he was so hyper today joyce is it oh, that's this is that a new a new super chat joyce or is that another super chat? No, that's a new super chat. Thanks, Joyce. Number one YouTube guy. Thank you, Joyce, so much. I really appreciate it. Does Bud Light sponsor me? No, they, they shouldn't, but dilly dilly. They should not sponsor me. There'd be way too many Bud Lights in the house. Uh, 
I do not keep tiger bobs there. Tiger bobs, sorry. I do not keep a whole lot of barbs in general. I had uh, some Roseline bobs in my 75 gallon uh, at my old house. And I did love those guys. They're super pretty. They're silver with this nice big black stripe. And they got the red and the, the white yellow tips on the, the tail fin. Beautiful, beautiful barbs. But I do not keep cherry barbs at all. I had them years and years ago. And I think they're assholes. Personally, to the pit of despair, dilly dilly. Do I use CO2? Yes, this tank is has pressurized CO2, Jay. How do you get rid of diatoms in a reef tank? Um, so I'm actually dealing with that right now in my 10 gallon, which is a great topic, but uh, it's just part of the, the breaking in process of a tank. They come, they go. Um, right now I have two beautiful rock towers, if you will, on either side of the, of the tank. And I have a, a Strea snail on top of one that I placed there two days ago. And like the whole, like four or five inches down of that left tower is completely white and purple, like the original rock, while the other side is still with brown. So a Strea snails will eat brown algae in saltwater aquariums, for sure. Because I'm witnessing it happening, happening right in front of me every day. Do I still talk to my fish guy? Uh, once in a while, he's doing good. He moved uh, out in the woods of Western Massachusetts, and he's still doing good. GLA regulator for the win. Uh, the BPS is I do like one to two bubbles per second. Um, very, very low, as low as I can get it. I make a five pound tank last me like 12 to 14, 16 months, easy. Uh, I've never kept Garamis, Alex, at all. How many hours do I run the light on the Evo? I can't stop growing algae. I do from five till about 12. So let's do seven hours, but, um, the first hour is like ramped up with the whites and then the la uh, blues and then the last hour is ramped down with the blues. So let's call it five hours white and seven hours blue. So Aza has to go to school tomorrow. We'll better get your ass asses sleep there. Any books? I, I don't, I do not read books, Mike D. Sorry. What up from St. Louis? Oh, the bass tank. Hey, Rich. Yes, I am a normal guy. And I cannot wait to see that bass tank either. Wank, wank. Oh, we've gone down. How are we going to give away my aquarium boxes if we can't even get up to 125? Come on, folks. It's Wednesday night. What are you watching? There's no sports on. Well, I guess it's basketball and hockey. Viola is cleaning her aquariums and watching. That's awesome. Get them clean. Professor Mike, thank you. <laughs> you went to YouTube YouTube University. Yeah, we all did. Oh, CJ, my boy is in the house looking out with his... What's that, a rocks glass? What, CJ's drinking... Uh, must be drinking like bourbon or... Who knows what he's drinking in his rocks glass. CJ, my brother... From another mother. Cheers. Uh, anybody watching that doesn't know CJ, go check out CJ's Aquariums. Um, he has some unbelievable videos. He shares everything from the bad to the great. Uh, and he's got a super sexy voice. It's like listening to like James Earl Jones down a few tones. And you're like, wow, that's just awesome. I just want to watch this tank and listen to this guy talk forever. Anyway, go check out CJ's Aquariums. No, I don't have a crush on him. I'm a married man. What's Greg doing? He's watching TV with his wife. I'm on mute. Of course I am. Pick you, pick you, pick you. How do I make soft corals grow fast? Uh, soft corals grow fast when you have lighting. And really, that's it. They like, you know, I've heard this forever. They like dirty water. Uh, I guess that what, what that means is if you're over a filtration with 
your GFO and your carbon and you just like your protein skimmer and you're sucking everything out of that water, which seems to be good for like SPS and LPS, your softies may not respond to that as well. I mean, I don't know if that's an accurate fact, but that's what I've learned. That's what's going on in my tanks. That's what I've watched in other people's tanks, but that could be completely wrong. So I am definitely not a scientist of saltwater corals, but just through some experience, I guess that's what I can tell you. Mike D wants the 101 best freshwater nano species. Holy crap. CJ is drinking the yak, JD says. CJ is chilling in his, in his aquarium seat, aka the lazy boy, probably watching TV with his beautiful tank to the left or the right. I don't know where his chair is. Yeah, hit that like button, son. Reef isn't hard. Um, I would never say that but i'm not going to get into that right now what causes white cloudy water you know what that's also an interesting question because i'm having some almost looks like dust plumes blowing around in my new 13.5 and there's only one thing that i'm you know 99.9 percent .9 positive it is and that's uh all the carib sea life rock that i busted up with a hammer and screwdriver and i did rinse it off but where you have like all the porous, like nice rock work, and then you have like that almost cut where it's just white. I think that that dust from that is just coming off and coming off and it's like slowly circulating around the tank and it just looks stupid and whatnot, but it'll go away. Uh, I've got filter floss in and once those areas get covered up with algae and all sorts of stuff, it'll be gone. So I'm definitely not worried about that. So do you have any new rocks in your tank that could be releasing all this dust, did you not rinse them off properly? Here we go, Greg. Like, share, MAB, MAB giveaway. Yeah, that's right, folks. My Aquarium Box giveaway will happen. 92. Let's show, let's say, let's get back up to 100. We can get back up to 100. I'll give a few boxes away. Dilly dilly. Because we got 947. I'm doing a one hour live stream. That's it. 10 o'clock. I'm shutting it down. Unless you have many more questions. I'm making Lisa Aqua thirsty. Love triple three. Go get yourself a beer, Lisa. You deserve it. David's not getting there, maybe. Dilly dilly. All right, so uh, now we're down to 88. So. Well, let's see if we can get this up to 100. I'm going to go over uh, a few more things I wrote down that I wanted to do for this live stream. Um, besides talking about live streams, like it's TV. Uh, there's a YouTube channel I want to recommend. And I don't know if he's watching. I haven't seen anything in the chat. I did uh, comment on his video today that I really liked his content. And it's Fish Nerd Vlogs. Fish Nerd nerd vlogs now that's all one word uh i've watched a few of his videos and while you know he is new to youtube i think he maybe has 200 you know 250 300 subscribers uh i really loved all his videos the the content was good the editing was good i love the editing i love how he switched from in and out of clips i do not have that at all in my videos uh I could do it, but I just don't have the time and I don't care to do that. But I do love watching videos where people do take the time to edit, you know, tens of twenties of fifties of hundreds of clips and put them all together so that they're like a really, really cool short video. I absolutely love that. So, uh, shout out to fish nerd vlogs on my live streams. I will be shouting out uh, new channels that I watch. Uh, it's not a channel that you say, Hey, come sub me, come look at me. You know, I'm awesome. Whatever. I am constantly going through fish channels, uh, all the time and looking at 
so many YouTube channels out there and when a channel gets me and I just like I want to watch the next video or I want to see what he's doing or the video is like wow nobody's doing a video on this like it just captures my attention and this is one channel that has so fish nerd vlogs uh, I hope you get a lot of subs from this shout out because I think you have a great channel so keep at it keep at the good work um, the big tank setup uh, is coming whenever there's literally no deadline and there's literally no I do not know the answer whether it's going to be a giant saltwater reef or a giant bass tank uh, freshwater native tank uh, I just don't know what I'm going to do it's going to depend on when I set it up where I put it how everything runs you know is it easy to make water or is it easy to do a water change or you know whatever uh, I'm literally up for grabs with that. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, so we got the YouTube shout out, the big tank, and my future basement plans are exactly that. Um, we got my aquarium box. Dilly dilly, my aquarium box. Headquarters in my basement, um, which I would say takes up about, you know, like a third of the basement or half of the basement and uh, I'm looking forward to getting bigger and better and uh, helping out all the fish keepers with everything they need and moving out of my basement into our warehouse so I can have my basement back to do all sorts of stuff that I love to do. It may or may not include fish. Most of it will include fish, but I can't wait to get my basement back and set up some tents and some fish tanks. So let's see what we got here. MAB Moss. Get a free Moss Ball from Justin. Come on. Dilly Dilly. Fish Nerd Vlogs is in the house. Look at that. Is he Dilly Dilly? And was that his first, was that his first comment coming over, over here? Hey, Fish Nerd Vlogs. Dilly Dilly, brother. Um, I've been watching your channel, and I really love all the hard work you put into editing your videos. And I just, I love the channel. You know, I like to watch your channel. So, dilly dilly, Fish Nerd Vlogs. Justin's still here? Oh yeah, Justin's still here. Go check out h Dual Plants as well. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Justin. Uh, I met him at Aquatic Experience, and he's a really cool guy. He's a family man. He's about to have a kid. Uh, I, think it's his, I think it's his second kid. Um, and I know how difficult that is. I have four. So, believe me, Justin, uh, <laughs> good luck in the next... You know, you already have one. You know, you know, two is like, meh, but you'll be fine. Anyway, go check out Justin at hdoleplants.com. Check him out on Facebook. Check him out on YouTube. He's got awesome plants coming out. You can use uh, a lot of MAB codes with Justin if you get my aquarium box. Um, go to his site. Go to our site. Pass it back and forth. Get some plants from him. Get some boxes from us. Boom. Dilly dilly. And uh, Justin is on the uh, also still on the live stream saying, come get some moss balls. Go check out Justin, H2O Plants. Order some moss balls. Order some plants. Get your tank filled up. Justin has all the balls. Yeah, he does, doesn't he, Greg? Oh, yeah, Fish Nerds just came in just for the uh, shout out. Well, you know, dilly dilly to you. Justin lives in New York. He doesn't want to move from Mass. He's only like three hours away anyway. How to propagate Amazon swords. Uh, that's actually pretty difficult. Usually they send off runners, but I don't, besides splitting it down the middle and then moving the plants, um, basically you just want to like go right down the middle of the plant where the middle of the plant shoots up all its new leaves. Um, and go right down the middle, cut it, and then move them apart, and you should be good to go. Do, do, do. Yeah, Melissa, go check out myaquariumbox.com. You can get a monthly plant box every month. How many people do we have watching? We, oh, we're like hovering around 90 and what time we got 
Um, we're going on the 55 minutes, so we got like five minutes left for us to get close for me to give away these uh, my aquarium boxes. Sorry, David. No. Until we get back to 100, these my aquarium boxes will be staying right here. But I will have them for the next live stream. Thanks, Joyce. I do also love the Blixa. Lisa, dilly dilly. Dilly Manny. Manny Blunts. Ooh, that sounds good. We gonna get there? 90? No, four minutes left. Alright, we're gonna give one we're gonna give one box away then. Okay. Let's see. And it will be the since you guys are oh this one feels really heavy. So this is the I'm sure most people have freshwater boxes. All right, we got the planted December My Aquarium box right here. So I'm just assuming most of you folks are plant to tank guys or girls or kids or parents or grandparents. So I am going to give away the December planted box from My Aquarium box. Don't forget to subscribe to My Aquarium box. Uh, it's got a Total value of $61.95. Damn! That is a huge box for $29.99 with free shipping. $30 and you're getting more than double? We get all... Um, I'm sure these this code is up because I already know the winner. So every month we send out this box and it's filled not just with the value of the box, but all these coupons and contests and free giveaways and go see Justin for your H2O free plant with a promo code and go see, you know, Than for your free frag. Like it's not just the amount of stuff in the box, but we give tons and tons and tons of inserts for you to get free stuff and coupon codes, which is Believe me, what I want to see more than the stuff in the box is I want to go buy corals and I want to get like 20% off my corals. Or I want to fill my tank up with plants and I want to get 25% off when I buy all these plants. So don't ever discard the stuff in the My Aquarium box. And you know, we always got swag. We always got pens from uh, companies that want to get their name out there. So in this month's, the December 2017 Planted Tank Box, um, we have a giant pack of Indian almond leaves, which is awesome. We have a big bag of filter floss for your filter. Oh, it's stuck to this thing. I use filter floss um, in all my tanks, every single one of my tanks. Oh. Oh, I'll save this for the end. I really did like this. Not a lot of people like that, but I love this. Um, we have your Sarah catfish chips, which is a huge, big thing for all your catfish, your plecos, you know, all your algae eaters. They're going to just nom, nom, nom on these like crazy. We have a beautiful pair of steel plant scissors which I love. There is there is a really good benefit to owning my aquarium boxes. I get this stuff in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So I get to put some aside for myself. We have, oh, look at this. See, this is the great thing is we don't even pack these things for uh, like me to show or anything. I just have literally have all my boxes that Greg wants me to do unboxing videos and I just don't have enough time. But look at this awesome piece of driftwood. Malaysian driftwood. It's got a hole in it for places for plecos. It's just a beautiful piece of wood. So I'm gonna put the wood, the poly filter, the scissors, the wood chip, 
tabs, the almond leaves, and then uh, I swear I didn't open this box just to open this. I don't, I barely know what's in this, but we have a blue tiger shrimp, my aquarium box model, which a lot of people gave a shit about, but it is really awesome. One in a kind. This will never be made again. We sent the colors over, sent the design, and they made it. While you might have a different kind, you will never have a My Aquarium Box blue tiger shrimp ever. One of a kind. So let's give this planted December box away. Get everything nice packed in here with the scorecards and everything and all your coupons. And I will get ready to write on it. Oh, I forgot the pen. Sorry folks, shove that in there. All right, so let's go Greg, what are we doing here? What is the, uh, oh, am I on mute still? What's the uh, dilly dilly? What are, what's the contest rules here? Don't, everybody don't type anything. Come on, stop typing things. Um, let's see. Those of you who have watched my channel for years will know this. Um, and people that have seen at least my latest 10 videos will know this. So. Do not say it until I say go. All right, here we go. We're gonna nix that because too many people know that. Um, what is my favorite freshwater fish? Go. Jesus, PJF again. Everybody stop. Oh, I got a little battery. Everybody stop. PJ, while you guessed it, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give you two prizes. Someone else needs a prize. So I'm going to go to the next person that said angels. And that's uh, Fish Head or Fish Head 2925 is the next person in my thing. I got PJF said Angel, you already won the light. I got Rainbow, Amazon, Rummy, and then Fist Head 2925 said Angels. That is my favorite freshwater fish. Fist Head 2925. You have won the December planted my aquarium box. Oh, we're almost at 98. Could we give a box? Could we get to 110? I'm gonna put some Sarah O nip tabs in this tank. I haven't fed the fish yet. I want them to come out, so I saved a couple. I absolutely love these O nip tabs. Super, super cool. I love sticking them to the side, right to the side of the tank. The fish just come eat them. They don't like pollute the whole tank. They don't go nuts. I absolutely love these ONIP tabs. And they come in marine and salt. And we sell them on our website, shop.myaquariumbox.com. So, what are we at here? Are we calling it a night? I got, we're at 90. Now we're at 88. They just stick right to the glass. Boom. Fish come up and get them. I will be back in 30 seconds. And if we are at 100, I'll give away one more box. Or we'll call it a night. Own that tab.
Did we get there? Did we? Oh, we're still going down. All right. People are losing interest. All right, folks. This is Mike from Ass. I'm going to call this a live stream at night. Lots and lots of comments. I appreciate everybody coming by. Um, I'm going to try to do a live stream every single Wednesday night. It's not going to be every other day or every third day or this. Uh, we're going to do Wednesday night live streams because uh, a lot of people do every other night. So I'd like to keep on going with the Wednesday night live stream. I like to keep giving stuff out. I have the two prizes. I got the LED light I'm going to ship off to PJF. And I got the box I'm going to ship off over here. Um, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll check you later. Peace.